It's a vehicle you were talking about looking at for your wife. I'll show you some of the features on it, Julie. This is Nissan's 3.5 VQ engine. It's the only engine to ever be on the best engine list 16 years in a row. And Nissan, they have, I know you said your wife's going to be driving this and you're going to have your little baby in this car, right? That's why I know safety is a big feature for you. Nissan develops a, a dual crumple zone both in the front and the rear of the vehicle. If you look right here, you can see the little ridges. These little ridges are where the crumple zone is. What the crumple zone means is if you're in a severe frontal crash, it's going to actually absorb the impact of the vehicle and protect the cabin of the vehicle for the people inside. Also, you have a liquid-filled rear motor mount, which will let the, mo let the engine rock down. If you're in a severe frontal crash, keep the engine from going inside the vehicle. All your bottles on your vehicle are clear, liquid filled, so you can see and fill them while, they're, while the engine's hot without burning yourself. Everyone except this one's your radiator cap. You have a fill bottle over on this side. Okay? Where's the, uh, that. the stick? The, the stick. <laughs> <laughs> the old dipstick tend to be right here. This is a continually variable transmission. Nissan started messing with them, started dealing with the continually variable transmission in the 90s. They started putting in the Murano in 2003 when they came out. They actually are the largest largest company as far as suppliers of uh, continually variable transmission. What that is, is two, two large pulleys with a steel belt, and it, it changes ratios in the engine, which gives you a more smooth ride and a little better gas mileage. So you're never going to feel a shift shock when you're driving this car. Okay? But I always wanted to know what this was right here. I've seen this on a couple of videos. This, this is actually to quiet the vehicle and keep the vibration and noise of the engine out. Okay, some people say that it falls and puts a fire out, but that's not true. <laughs> okay, you got the key, right? Okay. You notice it has a little button on the door. Do me a favor, put, touch the button. Now, I had unlocked the door before and I pull it. You see, it just that one touch just unlocked all the doors, locked all the doors. When you walk up again and touch that button, if you touch it one time within five seconds, it'll unlock just this door. If you touch it twice, it'll unlock all the doors. Go ahead and touch it twice within five seconds. And check, it should open both doors. Wow. My wife is really like you. It's very easy. She'll come up with the baby. She's got the baby in the hand, purse in the other hand. She'll have the key in the pocket. Comes up, touches it, unlocks the door, puts the purse in the seat, walks around, puts the baby in the back seat, and she's ready to roll. Never has to take the key out of the purse. Okay? If you notice on the side, you can see that they have, the tires are all the way at the corners of the vehicle. They give the optimum turning ratio on the car. Also going to give it a much smoother ride. Along the side, you're going to have corrugated steel in the doors. That's going to allow for a, a larger impact on the side of the vehicle, and it's not going to it's going to absorb the impact a lot better than just straight bar steel. Okay? You also have a six airbag system, which we'll go over that later some, with some of the other safety features. Come back here, touch right here on the bottom of the door. It has a power rear door on this model. That's also going to help you out. You also have one on the key. So you can walk up and touch it there. Or she can touch it right here on the key, and it'll be open before she gets here. So she's coming up with groceries and everything. She can just hit that, reach under there, hit that button, and open the door, she can put her groceries in. Does it lower too? It does lower too. You have a, have a button right here to lower it. You also can hit that again and hold it. And, it lower it. and if it comes down on it, she's not paying attention, it'll automatically go back right, up with no injury. Right. Your spare tires will be located under here. You have a small tray for storage. And underneath that tray, you're going to have your spare tire. It's a, it's, a, it's a large tire, but it is a run-on tire. It's a 100-mile run-on. It's not one to be driven for extended distances. It's made, made to get you to a place to get a new tire, get a new tire repaired. Yeah. This is actually your subwoofer wire. It's a wire for your subwoofer for your Bose stereo system. So the Bose is in there? This is your, your uh, equalizer system and everything. Oh, okay. It goes to your subwoofer. On the side, you're going to have your storage on this side. On the other side, you're going to have your tire tools. Okay? On your back of your door, if you reach inside, on this side, that side, reach on this side. There's a little handle. looks like a little doorknob. You saw that one? Oh. See how it lays the seat flat? And That's there's a button convenient. right above that. Pull that button back. And just hold it. 
Oh, and lift the seat right back. I like, I like this. I really do. Now, some people, some people talk about. Well, I'm a little bit worried. This will be open. People can see in the back. If, if that's a worry for you, we can add something to your vehicle. It's a little piece here that goes over. It covers the whole back portion of the seat. It pulls in, like and it also, it also can be removed if you need to put more storage. In. Okay. Okay. You can press the button for me. Is a camera? That is the backup camera. We'll go over that. Some of, the, some of that. Those other features in a few minutes. Now I told you about some of the other safety features. There's something that's called vehicle dynamic control on the vehicle. And I'd like to show you that if you can have a seat in here, please. Put your seatbelt on and show you a little something about the, the uh, tension that's in here. Works a couple of different ways. If you in, if you have a stop short, it'll actually lock. And why is it not going to do it now? When you go to stop, it'll stop. Okay. Now that's actually a locking system where if you put the baby seat in, you put that in there, and then you're not going to be able to go forward at all. What is this little? This little now when you bring it all the way in, that's an adjustment. Okay. Just push it in, and then it, it actually lowers and raises the seats by optimum position for the. Uh, the passenger or the driver. The yeah, I was my wife is really short. Oh, she is? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a good feature on the on the driver's seat. I can show you a little bit later, too. You hook that again. Okay. 